So welcome to round 3. It appears we will face a mirror match at this point. Let's choose to play first and yes, let's not mow that. Since we have ways to get rid of his planeswalkers and ways to get more lands. And two lands already, so... Uh, no, I would not like to mow again. In the mirror, like, you know, planeswalkers are, are definitely, uh, are likely what, uh, the, the most important cards here, like, especially Garak. But getting your, your land drop is actually, is actually pretty relevant, you know, as in, uh, any control matchup ever. So I actually like having two Traveler's Amulets here. <coughs> Alright, so let's start with a mountain into Traveler's Amulet, I guess. <coughs> Alright, so we could play... let's play the Woodland Cemetery here. At the end of his turn we will search for a swamp, I guess. Although it wouldn't be uh, necessarily bad to search for a mountain here. But I think... I am gonna uh, search for a swamp at first. Yeah. Ooh, that's gonna be good. Alright, so let's play a Traveler's Amulet. If he plays a Liliana of the Veil... We are discarding a. Not sure. <laughs> Maybe a severed bloodline. Yep. Okay. I think the sever is what we want to discard here. <coughs> Let's now go search for a mountain and play our Garrick. Ooh, which Bane Orb? You don't say. That is gonna be good at some point here to stop Liliana from doing stuff. If he has his own Garak, then I guess we could attack into Liliana there. Let's see what he does. He m All right, so he has a removal spell for our Garak. Let's see, if he chooses to make us sacrifice our wolf token... I mean, either way, I think we are killing Liliana next turn. Yes. This way we will kill her with... Ooh, that's, that's good. Although, I can't play it right now, obviously. So let's kill Liliana at this point. He has four cards in hand. Uh... I think I want to play a Witch Benor before I play my Blood Gift Demon. So that he cannot uh, make me discard, make me sacrifice it with Loliana. So, yes, I think that's what I'm going to do here. Of course, this way I, I give him one extra turn to draw into stuff. Which is unfortunate, but oh well. Uh, okay. <coughs> so let's hope he doesn't have any removal that can kill our blood gift demon. I mean, I mean, he has stuff like guys flaming his deck. All right, so he's fireballing it. It seems. Yep. And we got a victim of night. So, whoever draws into Garrick first here will be a huge favorite since, you know, at this point Garrick cannot be killed by ordinary means. Uh, I'm not playing this mountain here because I want to discard it to Lilian if he, if he has it. Alright, which being orb number two. Which is essentially a blank here since, you know, his first which being orb was already a card that uh, stopped all of my what is that alright blood gift demon that is getting victimized here we drew into a swamp let's play a mountain so that we can 
eventually flash back the devil's play. Alright, my upkeep again. Go squatter, huh? Yeah, that's... That is gonna thin my deck here. <coughs> Garruk, oh man. Yeah, that is gonna be a problem. Pretty big one. Unless I do draw into my Garruk now. Uh, let's destroy what? A swamp. And look for another swamp. <coughs> Alright, that weight is pretty much a dead card in here. So let's do this. All we w actually want to do here is to uh, keep dealing with his wolf tokens until we uh, find a Garrick of our own. At this point I don't think I wanna shoot his wolf with a brimstone volley since I, I wanna be able to flash back a severed bloodline. He may have some sort of, of burn spell to respond to it but right Liliana of the Veil. Vale. Okay let's Discard the swamp. Victim of night, huh? Interesting. <coughs> I guess that's what we are going to discard. But let's sever the blue line here first. Now I think I, I actually would rather have a victim of night than a brimstone valley. So if he activates his Liliana. I'm gonna discard the Brimstone of Valley, I guess. <coughs> Since, you know, Victim of Night can actually deal with his demon. Let's hope he doesn't have some sort of Ed Effect removal here, main deck. So he's taking his time there, let's pause. Alright, no need to pause. <coughs> see what he does. He made a wolf. He chooses not to make me discard anything with Liliana there. Okay. Yeah, let's keep this wood lane uh, cemetery on our hand just in case. I think the bad news here is that he probably has a lot of uh, removal spells in his, in his hand since he decided not to activate Liliana. Yeah, at this point I'm just gonna shoot his guy here. With a Brimstone Volley. Alright, Brimstone Volley number two. <coughs> this game could could take a while. <laughs> Let's Brimstone Volley this guy too. Uh, let's see what he chooses to do here. At least put a token, right? With his Garrick. I mean, I wouldn't complain if he chose not to, but... <laughs> Alright, Victim of Night. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think I will just play a Victim of Night here as well. Or maybe not. I mean, I'm at 18 uh, life at this point. I do not really need to... <coughs> to to do that. Alright, let's discard our wood woodland thingy here. Let's see what he discards. He's choosing or right, he discarded a swamp. We will discard our cemetery. The reason why I do not want to waste removal here is because if we draw into something like a severed the blue line, I want to be able to play it and just kill a bunch of wolf tokens at the same time. Alright, let's see what he does. Nothing. Which Bane Orb, huh? Alright. I think I could discard that if I really need to, because like, if he has an, an artifact removal spell here, 
it's going to be uh, an ancient grudge and that is why I think there's no reason to just play my second witch bane orb here I'd rather just discard it I really need to draw into a Garrick here he probably has another Garrick at this point already So what he discards, he discarded a brimstone of all I'm discarding a witch by orb. So I'm gonna take a bunch of damage here. No problem so far. What is that? Alright, that is getting victimized. Alright, Mountain, it's a card that we actually kind of want to play here. Right, uh, let's kill one of his wolves here. But yeah, I guess I would rather just not play my Mountain at this point. <coughs> Man, this is going to be a tough game to win. Whoever got to resolve and, and keep a Garrick on the battlefield here would be a clear favorite. Alright. Let's discard a mountain. He plays Rolling Thunder. That's interesting. He's bashing me for 4, going down to 8. Alright, so let's kill one of his tokens here, and then we can like force him to, I mean, leaving one card in hand here at this point will make him uh, activate his Lillian, I guess. Alright, in response, let's kill one of his wolves. So he's going to discard something, and we won't. really need to, to draw into something here to, to stop his beats alright at this point we will just have to start <sighs> shooting his wolves and stuff here but I think it's very possible, it's very likely that I'm gonna lose this game down to four mountain yeah I'm not a big fan of that so let's play a mountain let's flash back a devil's play here I mean we're trying right could draw into I mean there's lots of stuff that keeps us keeps us alive here the best of which is a sever the bloodline but this works too so let's play it uh, all right. Still, I don't think I'm winning this this uh, this game here. It's gonna be pretty tough to to beat Garrick and a demon. All right, so now we are officially dead. Okay. So let's work on that. We will bring in another witch bane orb, maybe. Both ancient grudges and heretic heretic punishment, definitely. Moan of the unhallowed, definitely. And tribute to hunger could work here, I think. Let's take out the dead weights. They're not so hot here. The blasphemous acts are not so hot either. We could even take out one severed the blue line, I guess. I think two witch bane orbs is actually fine here. Or we could like uh take out the orbs even so that he will have dead cards in his deck, but I don't think that's <laughs> what we want to be doing here. Uh so I think we can leave this severable line here and uh I think I actually like Victim of Night. Right? Like, it kills his blood, give demons. I 
could like take one of these out and bring in what an, uh, an Olivia that's an option I guess although I'm not sure how good that is I think I'd rather just leave a Blasphemous Act in here just in case in place of a Victim of Night right yeah I think that's correct Mon of the Unhallow is actually pretty good against him oh boy here we go let's mow down to five and I'm not mowing this as sad as that makes me because you know this is not really a good hand I mean if if we draw into a uh, uh, a, a swamp here in, in the next turn then it's it's gonna be good but otherwise it's really not alright we didn't but now if we draw into any land we can play Garrick let's hope he doesn't have a Liliana that would suck alright land alright so let's play a Garrick make a token and hope he doesn't have a burn spell to deal with our Garrick he does sure he he will likely play his own Garrick here at this point yep and what I'm gonna do is alright so he did chose to do that that's interesting so let's play a Moan of the Unhallowed I guess or maybe we could play a Blood Gift team alright but I think Moan is better to just take take out his Garrick since we can sever his demon that uh, if it, if it was a demon here at this point we can sever it or we can just play a Liliana of the Veil and force him to sacrifice his wolf I think that's what we are going to do Ooh, and I like drawing an ancient bridge there too so let's play this bad girl here force him to sack his wolf and then bash his Garrick with both tokens since if he has uh, an instant removal spell I do not want him to take one of our guys out here and just make his Garrick live alright so a Brimstone Valet took care of one of the zombies Heretic Punishment that's certainly interesting alright so let's play a, a blood gift demon at this point here we desperately need uh, to draw into into a uh, witch bane orb so let's discard this ancient grudge here he discarded a second erratic punishment let's bash it's very likely that he has a naturalizing hand and stuff like that let's see what he draws he may uh, just try to to shoot my demon here but I don't think that's exactly a, a good play alright so let's force this card here I guess since I do not really need this over the bloodline let's bash him with both our guys see what he does the fact that we have Liliana here is pretty tough for him I'd say so he may just choose to, to kill it it's tough because we, uh, we are drawing two a turn here alright so he did choose to kill all Liliana of the Veil vale. he's gonna play his own Liliana I guess alright so he actually killed our blood gift demon yeah that's not good at all since at this point we do not really want to be uh, flashing anything back here 
things. If you flash this back, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, he could just not draw into a land here, right? Maybe he does have a land there, but I think it's worth worth the risk. If he missed the land drop, then it's really worth the risk here. And at the end of his turn, we are going to go squatter one of our lands. Let's hope he doesn't have a land here. All right. Apparently, he doesn't. Good news. Oh, he may have another seven the blue line in hand, which is going to be <laughs> pretty awkward. Liliana. All right, that's a Liliana. So we're going to force this card. I'm going to discard my seven the blue line. All right, so he's going to force me to sack a creature actually. Uh, all right. Let's attack him with one of them and the Liliana with another. Right? Yeah. If he wants to kill the guy that is attacking the Liliana, that's fine. Because like now I do have uh stuff to to discard to Liliana here. Man, I could draw into a fireball here, right? That would be awesome. <coughs> Just hope he doesn't have a witch bane orb. So he did not draw land. That's very interesting. He still cannot flash back. He severed the bloodline. If I place a creature here, I am flashing back mine. Or maybe just playing mine from my hand, right? If I have something else I want to play in the same turn. Maybe it's getting to a point here where he will have to actually start shooting my zombie tokens. But drawing into a fireball here would be very amazing. He has a Witchbane Orb in the graveyard already. If he plays a Witchbane Orb here, I have my Ancient Grudge ready here, waiting. Alright. Oh man, forgot to go squatter. That's okay. I mean, that's really not that okay, but <laughs> I really wish I had used it. So is he going to start shooting my guys? I think it may be. Alright, so it didn't work. Awesome. He does have a Devil's Play that he can flash back at this point. So he did not flash back. Actually, he chose to uh, hard cast one of the Devil's Plays in his hand. Let's uh, destroy a mountain here. Search for another mountain. Just to thin our deck. And still, <laughs> just not draw anything. Alright. Well, it's getting down to one. And we are live here drawing into any burn spells at all. Even a uh, heretic's punishment would work here at this point, since, you know... Alright, Traveler's Amulet, get in there. Let's search for a swamp and play it. If he has double orb, then I'll be in trouble, since I only have one Ancient Grudge. No need to, to flash it back just yet. All right. <coughs> I think we are flashing it back now. All right. So apparently not. But we are, at the end of the turn, destroying both. Come on, any burn spell, please. Yeah, that's a big problem. He even he now has a lot of stuff to, to deal here. All right, he deal he dealt one damage to me, so he's kind of missing on his stuff there, which is good. And we have a witch bane orb. Let's hope he doesn't have removal for that. <coughs> but chances are he does. I mean, does he have an ancient grudge here? I don't think he does. 
if he didn't shoot me in response, it's because he already had it. So all right. All right. So now I took five. Still drawing life to any burn spells, but of course I drawing to lands. Yeah, that's gonna be a very frustrating match to to lose since you know I'm drawing lands after lands after lands. So I'm at I'm at seven, which means that I'm probably just yeah, I'm just dead because he has the devils playing his graveyard. Man, that was really, really, really frustrating. <laughs> but oh well. And yes, <laughs> that's the brimstone body. Well, let's see if we can get back on track next round.